Hey guys, welcome back to Lizzie and Little. It has been so long, per usual. I feel like that happens every single time for the last like year and a half um, on this channel that I just go a really long time without uploading. And life has just been, I mean, for everybody in the world has been crazy. Excuse my dogs. And the dishwasher's running. My son's taking a nap. So I'm trying to get this in while I can. I have actually recorded multiple YouTube videos and quit uploading them or like never uploaded them, deleted them. Um, uh, and I don't know why I keep doing that. I've always had that problem too. Like I have done that so many times and I wouldn't say I'm a perfectionist. Uh, I you know, maybe I am, but I just think that sometimes my videos, I don't feel like they're put together enough and um, especially me going so long in between recording. I'm like, how can I go, you know, six plus months without uploading the video and then the next video I upload is like clean with me or something random that, I don't know, has nothing to do with anything. Uh, I like coming on here and just kind of talking and I don't know, it's like a form of therapy a lot of people like to say and it just helps me get out what I need to get out sometimes so uh, I guess I just wanted to come on here and just talk about all the things that have been going on in my life and um, how I've been and give you guys some updates if you're down for that so uh, if y'all didn't know a lot of people y'all might follow me on other social media um, but if you don't know uh, I'm currently expecting our second child and that has been like the biggest thing that I feel like has thrown my life so off balance and I want to say that I'm grateful like I am and um hey can y'all Bubby come here I am grateful in all the things but at the same time like I can't deny how hard it's been, especially like with all the life stuff uh, I was going through in the beginning, like just finding out I was pregnant, I was really, really sick. I'm finally starting to feel like I might not be sick anymore. I did throw up just a few days ago, but I think that was just something I ate and not like hormones this time. Um, so things seem to be looking up, thankfully, but I was just, I was sick. Uh, my stomach was in knots 24 7 to the point where i could not eat um in the very very beginning i i couldn't i couldn't keep food down i couldn't bear the thought of eating anything it was just horrible it's really intense if you've never been pregnant or anything like that it's hard to understand and so that was really rough especially taking care of anakin and i was also dealing with headaches i was like dehydrated i just couldn't was not taking care of myself and I got pregnant at a time where I felt like my life was like this, like kind of a consistent upward slope, which we know is not always like life is gonna have the ups and downs forever, no matter who you are and how great your life is. But I was just doing really good and I, I feel like I always have to preface this. Like, I don't know why we feel like we have to do this. Probably just because we don't want people to think that we're ungrateful or that we're complaining when things are, you know, we're in decent situations or whatever. But like, you know, I'm in a better living situation now than I was a couple months ago, um, right before I got pregnant. And there are a lot of things that are better now, but just my mental health and even my physical health, like, I mean, in general, things were going on the right path, you know? Um, I was doing really, really good with my online work. If you guys don't know, I've been doing, you know, like direct sales and um, network marketing, like online stuff for the last couple years. And I kind of hopped around trying to find the place that was right for me. And when I got into the business that I'm in now, oh my gosh, like everyone could see it in me. It was so, like a high on life moment where things just kind of clicked. Um, I got so many new customers. I have sold 
so much in product. I have, you know, done a lot. You know, my social media started blowing up. Um, I was actually working more than I ever have doing this type of thing. Like I felt so productive. Um, I felt like I was being a better mom. I finally was making my own money again. Um, and it just felt, I mean, it was the best I feel like I felt in a really long time. And I felt so loved by the people that were around me and just, I mean, it, it's, it's perfect for me. I mean, it's not perfect all the time. You know, there's always things that come and, and go, but it definitely is just home for me. And so things were looking great. I saw myself for the first time ever. I don't know if you guys are into like visualizations or like manifestations or just vision boards, things like that. But for the first time ever, when I got into this business, I, and, and things started like flowing, I could actually see myself as a car earning champion. Like I could see it so perfectly in my mind. Like, I don't know if it was God giving me that vision or I just, I don't know what it was, but I could clearly see myself like my highest self, you know, like we talk about that a lot. Like when you show up every day, are you trying to sh like, who would you want to be? You know, um, if your life was, I don't want to say perfect, but if you were like the perfect version of yourself, what does that look like? Do you show up on time? Do you do what's right? Are you honest? Are you, you know, whatever, what are those qualities and replicate that every day. And so I don't know if it was like that, like I was just aligning, I was working hard. I was doing all the things that I needed to do. I was taking care of my body. I, all the things that I was starting to align with that highest version of myself. And I was just, that's why it was so visible to me. Um, but I've never had that, uh, ever like anywhere I've been, you know, I've always liked where I've worked. Um, any path I take in my life, whether it be the businesses that I do here or when I was in college, like, you know, whenever I get on a path, it's obviously with good intentions, but I've never been so clear minded in my vision. Um, anywhere. And then I got here and like I said, it was just, it was crazy. Um, I'm getting goosebumps literally just thinking about it. So then I got pregnant and just from very early on was just, I felt like I had a hangover every single day. It was horrible. Um, and it was just the physical parts of it were just so bad that it was just physically hard for me to get on a zoom call and just hear people talking you know it was hard for me to feed my son I had to like give him pouches and just very easy things I was not eating myself you know um I was not taking care of the house I could not do anything and like thank god you know, my husband, poor guy, he has just went through it the last couple weeks um, dealing with this. He's picked up so much slack in the areas that I usually am, you know, doing like the laundry. Like, you know, usually I was just always the one to be able to do those things. And Nick really picked up a lot of the slack um, and I can never, and he's my husband and that's what you're supposed to do in a partnership and all the things. But like, I don't know how I would have made it through so far without him. And, um, you know, he was just having to do everything and I felt horrible and it put me the physical aspects of like really not only, you know, going from being super active in a business and just doing everything. I felt so independent. I felt amazing. I had money to go do what I wanted. Like I just, things were on the up and to go from that to go to automatically like feeling like actual trash every single day. Um, not being able to eat, like not being able to do anything. It just really put me in the slope of, um, declining mental health as well because I was just 
I felt, I started feeling depressed and I, I felt like it was a prenatal depression. I was like, I feel like this is like a pregnancy depression. Like I, I never want to do this again, ever, ever, ever. Um, not to say I won't, that's not me saying I won't. I just, this has like scarred me. Like I, I told Nick one day I was feeling so sick. I texted him. I was like, you have to get a vasectomy. Like I can't, there's no way. And I know it's so dramatic, but I just, it, it's the mental health that kills me. Like if I could be sick and not be mentally like so messed up, like shoot, I'll just bear through the pain. I won't be able to do anything, you know, but that's the thing, like not being able to do anything and not feeling capable of like even, you know, taking a shower because you're that like physically ill, you know, where I was, I've been throwing up and um, having just fatigue and just so many things, especially taking care of a one year old. And so, um, it's just been hard. Like I've been through so many hard things in my life, like really deep, hard things. And you know, hard situations are never going to stop popping up. You know, we're always going to have to endure something at one point or another. Um, and this was not like life or death, but and you know, I've lost my dad. I've, I went through a lot of stuff. Like I said, I, I'm not, I don't want to go over all of it right now, but this was just, I think the reason this has been, I feel like one of the hardest things. And I always feel like I say that about stuff, but truly why I feel like this particularly might've been one of the hardest things that I've went through in the last couple weeks in just a very short amount of time. Because I, like I said, I truly was like, on the right path and I know things are gonna be okay because I feel myself like tearing up and feeling like I'm gonna cry um things will be okay you guys like I'm, I'm pregnant I'm emotional I know it's gonna be fine you know I have some of my friends tell me work will be there when you get back um things will be there you have to do what you have to do for your life and that's so true but you know going through all that i felt so guilty all the time nobody nobody made me feel guilty it was just something i took on myself where um i felt guilty about everything that nick had to do i felt mom guilt for just being reckless and i say reckless you know i'm married and and i have a stable living environment and everything like that but i wasn't ready to be a mom to two you know and i I just felt guilt like I didn't give Anakin, my son, enough time and that I was so sick that I couldn't really be the mom that I wanted to be, you know, the mom I wanted to be, not the mom I felt like I had to be that society makes me think I have to be, but the person that I wanted to be, I wasn't able to live up to those standards for myself, you know, like even my team, nobody has ever made me feel bad, you know. But damn, do I feel like I have let people down. And I think that it's just all together. And I was moving and um, I was moving states. So I had to get different insurance and uh, trying to get money to get my see my midwife and just all these things. It's just piled up and piled up and piled up and things could be so much worse. And that's why I want to say that I'm grateful and that, um, you know, I am blessed to be in a, in a, like, thank God I have a good living environment and thank God I, you know, have money to take care of myself and whatever, but still doesn't negate the fact that it's been really, really rough. And so I'm just praying and begging God that I stay feeling better. And so that's just kind of where I've been mentally. Um, I know that was a lot and deep and all the things. Um, thankfully, you know, I, well, let me backtrack. So because of all that, I also was feeling super disassociated from the pregnancy and uh, just, kept being in denial that, I mean, like I was, I have was obviously pregnant, like no period, you know, multiple positive tests. I went and got an ultrasound, um, you know, all these symptoms, like obviously whatever, but it was just like, sometimes just 
thinking I'd go to the bathroom and my period would start and just think like truly it's such a weird experience like when you see things that they talk about on TV or in movies that happen to people and you've never experienced yourself but then to experience it you're just like oh that's a real thing so like waking up just thinking it's a dream like just thinking that I'll wake up and not be pregnant and that things are just gonna be normal again that never happened obviously um, so that was just hard feeling like, you know, it's not the baby's fault. It's, it's nobody, I mean, it's not a bad thing. It's just a hard time. And I didn't want to feel, I felt guilt about that. Like just wishing I could go back in time and whenever it happened, just stop all things. But I mean, what, I can't do that. So now I will say that I feel like since I'm not feeling this crappy, um, I'm able to like feel a little more connected uh, with everything that's going on and try to refocus myself. And that's why I was talking about like the home birth and I'm going to see my midwife this Friday and I get to bring my son with me, which is really exciting because you can't find that with like an OBGYN. So it's just a blessing and I'm praying that I stay healthy and everything stays okay while being pregnant and I do get the birth that I want and just all the things. So that's just kind of where I'm at. <laughs> and I feel like, I don't know if there's anything else I want to say. I just kind of wanted to make this update video because that is what helps me feel better and kind of let people know why I just kind of come off the internet all the time. Anyway, um, I don't know where I'm gonna go with these, this YouTube channel. I literally never know. I want to get back into being consistent. I just don't know where to start. I don't know what to do. So this is just my, hey, how are y'all? <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. If you wanna follow me on all my other social media, it is linked in the description box below. Please let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know your thoughts, like, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.